Evelyn to Phil, May 28, 1941, 6.30 p.m. Dear Phil, was more than happy to receive your letter, even though it was cut short. That compliment certainly helped to boost my spirits. I'm glad that you were rested and had it comparatively easy. You sounded more cheerful in this letter, which was probably due to the fact that you had a light schedule on Monday. As for the constant importuning for money, forget it. Lousy pen, I can hardly write. I'll get even some day. Anyway, as I told you this past weekend, it is really our money, and you are entitled to it, if and when you need it. I hope that the enclosed $3 will be sufficient to take you over until June 4th. Page 2. If by chance you find it is not enough, you know where you can find me. It certainly will be a saving if you can arrange to come in with Sam's friend. Here's hoping. Jack the Dope sends a letter to Lenny in which he balls out Jack N. for not writing and then addresses the letter Philadelphia, PA, and it was returned this evening. I'll send your bathing suit as soon as I find it, which means you can expect it sometime during the next day or so. Lil sent me the enclosed letter. What a surprise. I thought I would send it along to give you an idea of what's been happening to her. She sounds like she has some definite plans in mind for a change. She's still a swell girl for my money. Maybe I like her so swell. Page 3, because the admiration is mutual. Perhaps she will be able to get Eddie to drive us down to Fort Meade in the event you cannot get leave. I'm going to give her a call and ask her about it. I got another compliment today from Mrs. Glick, lady next door. She was watching me from the pavement as I walked up the front steps to the apartment and then commented, what a mean pair of legs, to which I replied, he thinks so. Did she laugh? In fact, I almost got myself a date the other day at the office. Some fellow, he's not Jewish, has been watching me every time he walks into the office. On this particular occasion, he said, I've been wanting to ask you out. You aren't married, are you? I said yes, and he, page four, thought I was kidding till he saw my rings. Boy, was his face red. Now he doesn't say, pay any more attention to me. I felt lousy yesterday, had a headache, and was very tired due to the extremely hot weather that we have had all this week. It's positively unbearable. I listened to Bob Hope last night and heard a new song called, I've Been Drafted, Now I'm Drafting You. It's us all through the song. The tune is catchy and the words hit home. I thought the president's speech was okie dokie. He always hits home. Do you realize that I haven't called you sweet or told you how much I love you? So I'm taking time out to say, I love you, Phil. The soldier's wife, F. P.S. Mom, Jakey, and Harry send their love and best regards. Lil to Phil. Tell your bunkmates that miniature chocolates are poisonous. Dear Phil, received your welcome letter and I'm also grateful because you take the precious time to write. Please, and you know I'm serious, can that ace and gratitude business because at least the money is spent on something useful as it is not my usual custom. I only wish that I could send your dear wife down by parcel post then would I believe the above. Things have taken a different turn since I last wrote. Eddie asked me not to go to camp to wait through the summer with him, and then things would probably begin to happen. As it happens between you, page two, Ev and I, he told me if he's called in the draft, and he has had his physical but hasn't received his rating as yet, also, he's still an alien, although he's applied for his last papers. I'll get my ring before he goes, 
And if he's not taken, he'll see that he makes a decent living wage and then a marital status. And so it took my almost going home and to camp for a final statement. Even though he's terribly stubborn and as yet anything can happen, at the present I think my best bet is to stick. This love business is the bunk. I've lost 36 pounds in the last four months because I just happen to care about him and he is essentially an ace for all his faults and page three without my being prejudiced in his favor. Tomorrow, Sunday, I'm making a visit to your house to see Ev and I hope you're home. If you're not, you'll receive this letter and it is my fervent, what's that mean? Wish and hope that you receive this after I see you. This letter reminds me of the crossword puzzle definition of PI, meaning jumbled type. Since it's not so warm, I'm sending chocolates, and I hope and pray that you eat at least one piece. Also, for more barrack orderly days. Your family, as I comprehend, is taking your being away as sporting as possible, and I want to assure you that it's not only a front when you're page four home. I wish that your new home was ready so that it would also occupy the heavy time on Ev's hands. By the by, you have certainly got the top as wives are classified. As I said to Ed, if you, Ed, go to Army, get sent to Camp Meade where Phil will assert some good influence over you. Well, nothing else to tell you, only that to put in a good word to your patron God for Ed and I, and I'll do the same for you. I've come off my case, so I have time on my hands, and I'll have to unpack. I was set to move. Until I see you, and even if not, keep well and look forward to coming home. Lil. Regards from my family and Ed. Phil to Evelyn. May 28, 1941, 8.15. Dear Ev, forgive the postcard as it's roasting here in barracks and it takes too long to write a letter. Thank Jack for the nice letter. I got a kick out of it. Chances for getting home this weekend are improving and I'm waiting most impatiently for the money. Hope it gets here in time. I'm feeling swell and our training is progressing rapidly. As a result, the work is getting a little easier. Keep your fingers crossed, sweet, and maybe I'll see you soon. Love to all. Yours, Phil.